let us do an experiment to interface LED, buzzer and switch using node MCU ESP8266. To do this experiment, we need the following components. Node MCU ESP8266, jumper wires, LED, buzzer, push button, resistor, breadboard and Arduino. So here are the components. This is our node MCU, LED, push button, buzzer and USB cable in order to connect uh, our node MCU with our laptop or a desktop. Now I will explain the circuit diagram how to connect all these components with the node MCU. This is circuit diagram. Uh, here I have used continuously the num pin numbers D2, D3, D4 and ground pin to do the uh, to connect all these components. D3, D2 is connected to anode of LED and cathode is connected to ground. And D3 is connected to buzzer, positive pin of the buzzer and uh, negative pin of the buzzer is connected to ground. And push button switch, one leg of the push button, it is connected to 1 kilo ohm resistor, other end of the 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected to uh, ground. And th at the same pin, these two legs will have the same connection. The uh, other side of the leg, that is the same pin, it is connected to D4 pin. And the opposite side of the leg, this is connected to the 3 volt supply pin of node MCU. In this experiment, um, buzzer and LED are acting as output devices and switch is acting as an input device. Remember, switch is connected to D4 pin. D4 pin, I will check the status of the D4 pin, whether the switch is in on condition or off condition. Depending on the condition, I will turn on LED and a buzzer which are connected to D3 and a D4. Before starting the experiment, let us connect all the jumper wires to the uh, D2, D3, D4 and VCC and ground pin. You just check here. So these are the pins D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, 3 volts and G, ground. So these pins, to these pins I have connected the jumper wires so that I can do the connection easily on the breadboard. So we should connect this push button on the breadboard since it has got two, 4 legs, 2 legs should come below the separation line and 2 legs on the above the separation. In such a way that uh, you should connect in such a way that 2 legs are have come on this side and 2 legs have come on this side. These 2 legs have the same connection and other side these 2 legs have the, uh, the same connection. Per circuit diagram the VCC uh, ground pin I will connect somewhere here and the VCC pin should be connected to one leg of the push button. Check here. So I have connected to one leg of the push button. Other leg of the push button it is connected through register to ground. This is other leg. So I will connect register here and other point I connect it to ground. The D4 pin of um, uh, node MCU it is connected to um, switch. So check the switch position the register point same same line you come here we will get to the point here you connect here. So this is switch connection. We connect, now we will connect buzzer. You check the buzzer at one place it has shown positive. You check where it is shown Okay, this is positive, it is marked as positive. So, you connect this buzzer on the breadboard. So, when when I connect this on the breadboard, you cannot see the uh, um, uh, holes where I have connected. So, what you do, at the extreme end, you connect the positive and it takes four pin, four, uh, fourth pin to connect to the second point. So, I will connect. After doing, after connecting buzzer, you cannot see the legs where I connected. Before only you have to check. So the extreme end is a positive and the fourth point is a ground. So I will take one wire to connect to the ground. The fourth point. 1, 2, 3, 4. This pin you connect to ground. And the pin number D3. D3 you connect it to, to the positive of buzzer 
and pin number D2 of node MCU you should connect it to LED. So first LED should be connected between ground and the D2 pin. So the long lead represents the anode you connect anode somewhere here and cathode to ground and to this anode you connect your D2 pin of node MCU. As per circuit diagram you do the connection. Now connection is over I will explain the code. So the first code is wide setup. So the in wide, wide setup function it is executed only once to initialize the uh, uh, configuration of the pins so the um, pin mode d2 comma output so p in this function in this line pin d2 is configured as output this means it can provide a voltage next line is pin mode d3 comma output pin d3 is configured as output it is also capable of providing voltage pin mode d4 comma input so the pin D4 is configured as input. This means it can read voltage level usually set by the external component. Here the external component used is switch. Next is wide loop. So uh, this program continuously check the, uh, checks the status of the uh, pin D4 to which the switch is connected using digital read d4 if the state of the pin d4 is high if it is high uh, it means that it has a voltage of 3.3 uh, uh, volts or 3 volts the following actions will be executed what is executed the, the set the pin d2 to high and, uh, and set the pin d3 to high d2 the led is connected and d3 the buzzer is connected both led and buzzer will be turned on Else, if this condition is not true, if the uh, pin status at the digital pin D4 is low, then these two uh, uh, execution takes place. In else part, uh, if the state of the pin D4 is low, meaning that it has a voltage of 0 volts, the following action will be executed. Uh, uh, set the pin D2 to low 0 voltage and set pin D3 to low 0 voltage so that the D2 it is connected to LED, LED will be turned off and D3 it is connected to buzzer, buzzer is also turned off. So whenever you provide high voltage to D4 pin, the pin D2 and D3 both are set to high. When pin D4 is low, both pins D2 and D3 will be set to low. Now we will connect and the USB cable to the node MCU. USB cable is connected to node MCU and other end is connected to our desktop or a laptop. Now we will write the program. Click on Arduino IDE. Click on file. Click on new sketch. And type the program. Whatever I explained just now. After typing the program, go to Tools, select the board Node MCU 1.0 ESP 12E model and the port to which port your Node MCU is connected that also you select. So my Node MCU is connected to COM5. After selecting these two, click on Upload button. So when we click on upload button, it compiles as well as uploads the upload your program to your node MCU. So while uploading, it check gives the status compiling the sketch. Like that it gives the sketch. Once compiling is done, it gives the message as done compiling. Then after that it gives uh, the message as uploading. Uh, you should wait till the uploading is done 100%. Now it is showing 58%, 66%, 75%, 83 91%, 100%. Till that period you should, after that it displays done uploading. 
now we will check the output when we when we press the uh, push button both led and buzzer uh, should turn on after pressing led is on and buzzer is also on when i leave my hand buzzer is off and uh, led is also off once again i'll show you when i press both are on when i leave both are off in this way we can interface switch led and buzzer to this node mc thank you for watching the video